This video is being sponsored by Crappie Monster. The two lures that I use were the Crappie Monster Firefly and the Crappie Monster Mega Grub. Crappie Monster has given an exclusive 10% discount to members of this channel that use discount code FLOPPINGCROPPIE at checkout. To simply type in FLOPPINGCROPPIE in the discount code order, click apply and 10% will be taken off your total bill. Thank you Crappie Monster for sponsoring this video. To find out more information about Crappie Monster, simply go to crappiemonster.com. The link will be in the video description. Yeah, whenever I get the, when I go to catching, man, I don't, I don't want to do it. I just want to catch. <laughs> you know what I mean? Exactly. All right. Well, I figured a lot of people probably have some questions about this entire setup. We kind of talked about the rods in a separate video. And Kyler actually wanted to talk about, oh, is it there? Is that, is it on? Yep, got one. All right, here, hold that. <laughs> Let me get this fish in. It's not that great. Not that great of a fish. But Kyler wanted to talk about the, uh, the actual setup of the rod holders. Because this is not something that I have on my boat, but I do want it on my boat eventually. So he's just going to explain who makes them, kind of how they're set up, and why we're using them right now. All right, so what we're using for our T-bar setup here is made by Double Seat. And what I like about them is, is that you can adjust all your rod tips. And when I say tips, if you look out at the rods, you can see how I have them oh, about eight inches or so above the water. Well, all you gotta do is just ease them down or pull them back. And that's how you adjust your, your rod height out there. And you don't have to have any tools to do that with. A lot of your other brands, you have to have a wrench on board or something like that. To, to tighten these down to where they stay. This here has friction technology. All you gotta do is just move it with your hands. And then the other big thing about them that I like is the adjustability of the height. Like you can see me, I'm tucked up underneath these rod holders. And with most brands, you can't do that with because they all sit down here really low and your knees are always bumping into them and stuff like that. But with these ones here, all you gotta do is loosen this little knob right here and you can raise the whole thing up and you can see the different colors here that's how that's how high i have these sitting right now and i mean it's just a great setup for this the same with his uh the actual double seat you know that's that's the kind of the main product that he builds and it's a it's awesome because you got the same versatility right here no matter if you're in a 16 foot john boat or a 22 foot long ranger this system will work because you can spread it out farther, you can scoot it in, and then, you know, he has different attachments to go on to it, like the out front net holder here, which is, you almost have to have it for doing this style of fishing. I mean, you have to have a net that you can get to quick and get underneath them big fish to get them in the boat. But um, all in all, it's just a great setup. And the seats, the Y seats that comes with these, you're good for all day. I mean, it's comfortable. It's excellent. Good, good products. www.doubleseat.com And I will be linking that below. Oh, almost broke some bass rods. That wouldn't have been good. I'll be linking that below uh, in the description. But yeah, no, these have been, I've, I've got to get some for my boat. Just to, just to try to spider rig up north. I know it's not really something a lot of people do up north, uh, but this has been working out very well for us all day. I mean, we've caught, we've caught at least a dozen fish that were pound and a half plus 14, 14, 15 inch fish. Um, so, and that's, those are, those are like really good fish for this lake. Very good fish. I mean, two lake. pounders are kind of rare on Lake of the Ozarks. That's more Truman Lake, but we've caught consistently good sized fish, 12, 13, 14 inch fish. And yep. this is how we've been doing it, just spider rigging. So yeah. We're gonna we're gonna show you a few more catches here and just kind of how this whole setup works. Come here, baby.
number one. On here, he's got one too. That's good. This bag? Let's see, no, oh no. Oh, there's there's some that's some uh, crappie monster stuff. There. Oh, I'll take this then. Uh, there we go. Oh, there we go. We're really whited out there. There we go. That's better. <laughs> Did you leave it in your truck? Probably. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is this is actually going to be a, was supposed to be a different video because I'm with Kyler Beckman again. And uh, we were supposed to take my boat today, but my starting motor blew up as you saw in the other video. So he was nice enough to take us out again on his boat. So we're gonna take on some, we're pretty much in the same bay, kind of on the same, well, on the same crappie, but they're on the different side, which was strange because we thought they, for, they would be stacking up on the windy side, but they're not. whatever. Okay. We'll take it. They're in the calm side, sun's out. It's like 65 degrees. Hoodie's coming off. This sure beats negative 20 in ice fishing. So we're gonna start spider rigging again and uh, I got some new baits that I'm gonna show you. Oh. So we're gonna try out some mistress and I think I'm gonna go, I don't know what these are called. Just the curly tails. Curly tails, orange, and then black and pink. I'm gonna throw it on one and then another rod. I'm gonna do some curly tails, it's like a turquoise silver and then fried apple minnow pattern on another rod. Got him. Good? No, not really. Number one. Gotta find the big ones again. That's two on this little curly tail thing. Which one is it? It's that top curly tail, it's like a turquoise silver color. It's kind of close to the the other one you had. Oh, there we go. That's a decent one. Is that nine, you think? Oh, yeah. Okay. There's a keeper for the live well. Ran, ran through. There, you got two. Two. Oh, yeah, he's running with it, too. Uh, just a dink. They're hammering all different colors too. Yeah, they are. Okay, well, I sped up and they went to the school. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's just a little guy. He's got the big guy right there. He is pinned too. Okay. There we go. Nice. That's an eater. Oh, yeah. That's an eater right there. Goody. Have I caught one eater yet, or have you caught all of them again? I caught one. Yes. One eater. Camera. There we go. Missed that catch, but... Four. Eleven more to go. That's a decent one. That'll be an eater. Chain was a good move. Mm-hmm. Oh man, that's big. 
again on that same one. I don't think that's what you wanted. Here's the little baby. We've been going pretty much a steady 0.3. And it seems to be working. This might be a better one on top of it. Still waiting for that double setup. Two of them on one. You got her yesterday. I know, but they're small fish, unfortunately. Like well, you're, two, you're wanting the double one. I wanted like two 12 inch oh, oh. fish. You got it? I got it. There we go. <laughs> There it Did is. Did you just hit it right at the top? I don't know. <laughs> don't have a clue. I didn't know he was on there. He's not going to make a cut mark, no. is he? Uh, we're <laughs> keeping 12. Oh, jeez, that one's way in the water. <laughs> that one was a foot in the water. This is when it gets fun. Mm-hmm. Oh, there we go. So he was running with it. Oh, you got one too? Yeah. yeah. Doubled up. The exact same time you jerked, that was jerking it. Yeah, you might want to edit that out. <laughs> that sounded a little weird. <laughs> you know, you got a little Mm-hmm. I think this is going to be 14 for me. And then black and chartreuse. That's pretty much a go-to for a lot of people. Oh yeah, it's a, it's a really, really good murky water bait. Anything dark, I love a murky water. Be too deep now with our jigs. Yeah, for... Could be. Yeah. Top jig. I bet you this is top jig too. Yes it is, yeah, we're definitely deep. So we've caught a few so far, two, two decent ones. He's just hooked up right here. Let's go up and see what he's got. There's the little guy. Just dropped it back in too. And uh, I wanted to show you real quick, he's got a Garmin unit and a lot of people actually have questions when I do my hummingbird side imaging videos. Like, do the fish look different on a Garmin versus a hummingbird or whatever? But this is how you know you're in them. See all these fish? Those are all crappie. Left and right of the boat. Giant school of fish. Absolute giant school of fish. No, he just got another one. All right, I'm gonna stop talking to him. I'm gonna stop talking to the camera and start fishing. Well, Kyler got a absolute pig of a crappie. Trying to get around the net here. Hold on. Yep. Okay. There we go. Absolute pig of a crappie. Well, that's going to wrap it up for day three on uh, Lake of the Ozarks for me. Huge thank you to Kyler Beckman saving the day. My motor was just went to crap on me, so he was kind enough to take me out again. Uh, I'm going to post his Instagram and his YouTube channel below. Go check him out. And he should have guiding services listed below, if not yep. pretty very soon. Very soon. Very, very soon. soon. I'm going to show you real quick the live well. Just a mess of fish. Absolute mess of fish. And they're all good, too. Let's see if I can pull one out. I mean, they're all, they're all 10, 11, 12 inch fish. Nice, nice fat white crappie. So thanks again. Yep, and uh, yeah. that's gonna end it for me. Woo.
Be sure to like and share this video and uh, post in the comments section below if you're open water fishing right now because I'm super jealous that I have to go back to ice fishing. It's gonna suck, but uh, hopefully we can make another trip down in April. You can have you one. So be sure to subscribe and click that bell. The bell's gonna notify you every time I post a video. Thank you goes out to Point View Resort for making this entire trip possible. If you're looking for a great resort to stay at for your next vacation or fishing trip, this is definitely the one. They have all different size cabins to fit your group needs. I stayed at the two bedroom deluxe cabin, which is right in front of the fish house. They also have boat rentals, jet ski rentals, and two swim beaches. They have multiple structures near the docks and the fish house that definitely hold fish. So even if you don't have a boat and you want to fish from shore or the fishing pier, there's definitely fish there to be caught. So if you're looking for your next vacation destination or your fishing trip destination, Lake of the Ozarks I highly recommend in general, but Point View Resort is in a prime location not only for recreation and fishing opportunities, but also just overall enjoyment of Lake of the Ozarks. You can find availability on their website and you can contact them to book your next vacation. See ya. Thank you.